Hey guys, uh, I'm doing a little bit of timing on the uh, second controller and I figured I'd make a video and maybe help some people out that are trying to get their timing on their motor properly. Um, I mean, most of the time if you buy a kit, it's already pre pre-set up and pre-configured. You just basically plug everything in and go. Um, but like me, I mean, I like to buy a motor and then buy my controller separate and they never match up. I mean, you'd be lucky if you plug everything in and it just works right off the bat, but uh, they don't. Um, a few tips for setting up the hulls, which I can give you to start. Plug everything in by default and uh, power it up. Don't be in a hurry to give a full throttle to do a test on the motor because what's going to happen is if the timing is off and the motor locks up, you'll blow the FETs in the controller most of the time you do. Um, you just have to feather it. Just give it a little, a little, just enough to see if the if the if the motor is going to respond uh, to the controller. It'll either vibrate or it'll spin it really rough in one direction or the other, uh, which is a good start. Um, what you do is you make sure you have it set up where you can constantly change wires. Um, you can do it through the hull plug here. Uh, what you can do is each one of these pins are held in by a little little barb that sticks out the side and uh, if you pull this plug out and you take a screwdriver and bend the barb in you can slip these out um, I wouldn't leave I wouldn't do that to the black and red but uh, for the yellow blue and green you would do that and as you're trying to figure out your timing you can pull the the, um, the uh, barbs out and change different um, uh, wiring like this one here is obviously it's blue to blue green to green yellow to yellow yeah, it just makes it easier to uh, change the um, the the um, timing when it's uh, when it's on the go. Um, you can actually move the uh, the wires for the uh, hull sensors when the controller's still on. Um, as long as you don't mess around with the black and the red, you should be fine, and they're not nothing's going to touch. Same thing goes for these. Um, you can switch them around without the bolts, and just basically hold them down and give it a spin to see if it'll work. Um, I usually try doing the um, the uh, phase wires first because um, most of the time if the timing is off and you give it a test with the throttle it's just going to jerk or jiggle. Um, good start is with the with the uh, with the phase wires because what you can do is switch them around until you get to sort of get the motor to spin in what direction you want it to go. Um, for a while there on this one when I was setting it up it was in reverse and it was very choppy. So we knew it was still off. Then I went down to the hull wires and started monkeying around with those. And it was in reverse, but it was smooth. So then I'm like, oh, okay. So basically what I need to do is one of these have to be reversed. Um, and it's different for all motors, but if you're doing it enough, you'll find that each motor will have a color that it's, it, I like to call it a neutral color. Uh, for this one, Blue goes to blue no matter what. Uh, these two here, uh, basically when you switch these over, they change the direction of the motor. But this one will always remain blue to blue. Uh, my front motor there is yellow to yellow. So it varies in what type of motor you have and the way it's been wound or the controller you have. But uh, there's always one wire that's the same color. Um, so once I had that running in reverse smoothly, all I had to do was come up here and switch the yellow and the green and well I'll show you we got this which isn't bad so we're good but uh, it usually takes about an hour like don't get uh, frustrated it takes about an hour to do it and do it carefully um, if you're constantly mucking around with your phase wires and your hull wires and you get nothing, uh, check your throttle and your power cables, obviously, make sure they're, everything's correct. Double check before you even do your initial uh, power up, because if you have something in reverse, like your power leads, you'll blow your controller up. So it's always important to check that. Same thing with your throttle line. Double check that, because if it's in reverse or you reverse the... Uh, the 
the uh, negative and positive, you'll blow your, your hull and your throttle, and that's another pain in the butt. But uh, as this one stands now, um, for a brain power in the Walmart motor, it's blue to blue, green to yellow, yellow to green, and then down here, it's really weird, it goes from blue to, well, it goes from green to blue, blue to yellow, and yellow to green, which is kind of bizarre, but uh, that's it, that's that's how it works, and there's like, like I said, there's a couple of other things that are still plugged in here that I have to uh, figure out, yeah, but uh, we'll do that later for another video, I just figured I'd give you a quick video on uh, setting up your hulls, it's not as, as, as hard as you think it is, um, it's usually, like I said, if you go by doing the uh, face wires first and then the hulls, You'll you'll get you'll get a pattern that'll work and what direction you want. Figured before we go, we'll just do a quick spin up. Uh, so since both of these controllers are running off the same power supply, um, we're basically only feeding one of the uh, the throttle. Well, the top controller is powering the throttle hull, which is the red and black. The white's your sense. Sense comes down from one throttle to the bottom controller. And the bottom controller only has the sense wire hooked up. The black and red are not, because obviously you'd have a reaction between the two and probably blow something up. So this should work. Let's try it out. Later guys.